I had a bunch of questions about, uh, you know, the whole experience and whatnot, but uh, you guys are not in the same place. Am I to assume <laughs> that this relationship is did not work out or are we still engaged? <laughs> Okay, slow down now. Well, no, we're, we're still together. I'm just working out of the West Coast. You're here because someone in your relationship has issued an ultimatum. Okay, great. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Because I feel like I was rooting for you guys during this oh, relationship. I love it. And I know you guys knew that, you know, you'd be going on to the show and that you'd have a partner to kind of help you figure out your current relationship. But when you found out that it was going to be more like a relationship than you imagined or you knew, what was your initial reaction to that? <laughs> well, being that I was the one that was brought onto this and given the ultimatum, I looked at Shanique like, are you serious? Is this what we're really, what we really signed up for? And that in turn, which I'm glad that I chose Madeline because we mesh so well, but had I not chosen her and chosen somebody that we didn't mesh well with, I think I would have just hated the experience all in all. But yeah, this is something that I was not expecting. Um, and I think any, I don't think anybody was expecting that, to be honest. Well, in all fairness, Randall, if you hated the experience with the, you know, second partner, then that would make it easier for me to get a ring, right? So, I don't know. That <laughs> might be a better scenario. <laughs> um, yeah, I think for me, I, I was not expecting this at all. Uh, going in and like having to date somebody else's partner and really think about a life with them. I mean, no one can prepare for that. So, it definitely took some adjusting, but yeah, overall, it, it was it was just a unique experience. Yeah, I, Shanique, what did it mean for you to see Madeline and Randall click, mm. like almost right off the bat? I, I mean, I, I have to imagine that as comfortable as you might feel in a relationship, watching yeah. something like that happen is scary. Yeah, so there are two parts to it, right? I mean, the first part is definitely like, okay well <laughs> that happened pretty quickly like what what is what's that about is it just like an instant chemistry is it because you guys have similar personalities like what is it um so that kind of caught me off guard i think at first i was just like looking at it like hmm we well, you know i don't know if we necessarily had that quick of a, a um you know connection because we were friends first so it wasn't romantic for a while but then the second part of it is that i guess in hindsight i'm looking at him thinking well maybe that was his version of trying you know like i'm gonna really put my all into this experience. Like I'm gonna actually try to date this person and see what that could look like um, and figure out what I need, you know, from my partner, my original partner being me. And, and you know, I don't know, it's, it's two ends of it, right? Just trying to figure out, you know, what, how to make it work. Yeah. Randall, what was it about Madeline that you felt you guys clicked so well together? Um, I think for one, we both were brought on to the ultimatum. We were both given the ultimatum. So we kind of had a lot to relate to in that aspect. And the fact that we were just able to, we, we had a lot in common, just based off of likes, what we didn't like in a relationship. And I think we were just able to have really good conversation in the short period of time that we uh, were speed dating. So, which in turn allowed us to kind of be like, okay, you know, you're my person for this these three weeks. Let's kind of like, work on uh, ourselves, but like, let's not try to be too hard on each other because we realize that like, you know, there, there's, there are ways to grow without, you know, being mean or bashing each other. And I think that's kind of how our approach was. Mm -hmm. um, and ultimately I think it kind of, it, it worked out, I think. Yeah, and plus she thought you were cute. So it, it worked. <laughs> um, <laughs> but man, I gotta admit, like she was throwing, she was throwing game at you hard from the very beginning and good on you for, I guess, not taking the, uh, not playing that game. But um, Shanique, what was your, you know, what did your time with Zay teach you about, you know, about Randall? Because it, there was that moment where I could feel like I could see it switch where you were like, oh, you know, whatever, the grass is always greener. And then you got over that other side and you're like, this grass is not greener over here. <laughs> grass ain't looking too green. Yeah, um, I definitely appreciated um, Randall a lot more, I think, after that experience. And not that I didn't before, but I think, um, like, definitely, like, dating someone else who has such a different personality uh, puts things into perspective, right? So Randall's definitely a lot more patient, um, just kinder, I think, in general, like, his, just one of the kindest people I think I know. So um, I definitely was able to appreciate that about him and, and just the way that he carries himself, the way that he speaks, the way he's able to kind of articulate what he's yeah. feeling, um, definitely kind of came out of the ultimatum for sure. This is an uncomfortable question to ask, but obviously there's some late night footage 
of yeah. you guys. What was that conversation like between you and Randall? I mean, I don't yeah. know if either of you expected once you realized this, this is the circumstances to go in that route. But as I said, Randall did not play in Madeline's game. So I, no one can follow you, but I feel like that has to be a hard thing to admit yeah. and then to see and watch back. Oh yeah, it was it was horrible to watch. Um, but I think, um, and I'll let, I guess Randall kind of chime in too, I don't want to speak for him, but um, I think when Randall and I talked about the experience, like we, we knew that there was going to be some sort of romantic component to it, right? Like some sort of physical um, attraction uh, where both physical people, I guess, Randall and I. So I think we, we had an understanding at least that kissing and some touching and stuff that that might happen. My like rule is be honest with me, like let's address it and, and let's talk about it. And if it's something that you just can't move past then we can't move past it. But that's the approach that I took. Like as soon as we got back together, um, that was the first conversation that Randall and I had. And it was tough, but I think no one knew what anybody did in their relationship. Um, and I mean, I thought, you know what, at least I'm being honest and upfront with him. And that's how he took it as well. And we just kind of were able to work through it. Randall? Yeah, so like Shanique said, we spoke about it um, the day before we switched over, or the day of us switching over um, to live with each other again. Um, and obviously it was tough to hear. Everybody had their own experiences, physical, emotional, um, mental. So at first, me being the jealous person I am, I was like, oh, damn, like, really? Um, and then obviously we forgave each other and moved past it. So seeing it over again, it didn't surprise me as much. And that's why I commend Shanique for just being so upfront and honest about it. Um, because um, I could have been, that could have been my first time seeing it and that would have been a different conversation. But yeah, I, did, I wasn't tripping. Obviously it sucked to see it on video, but um, you know, she expressed that they obviously didn't have sex. It was just more handsy. Congratulations on making it through, getting engaged. As I said, I was rooting for you guys. When's the wedding? When are we doing this? Well. TBA. TBA. <laughs>